So recently it was brought to my attention that uh, there are a lot of people that have no idea how to enter bracket orders or use quest trade for that matter. So I'm just gonna make this quick video showing how to enter bracket orders or edit bracket orders so that you're able to automate your trading a little bit more or to take multiple profits um, when things are happening quickly. So to start, here is the Quest Trade Edge platform. And I'm gonna open up a chart just so that you can see things a little bit easier. So for an example, let's do Tesla. So here is an example chart. Okay, and then what you would want to do is enter an order. So click the little order entry window and enter Tesla. Now I'm going to link all of these so that everything updates accordingly. So now let's say that you want to buy your shares of Tesla, but you want it so that you enter, and then if it goes below a certain price, you sell for a loss, and if it goes above a certain price, you sell for a profit. So let's say right now it is 175.20. So let's say I wanna buy 100 shares, buy it at market, and then check this little box that says bracket order. <clears throat> check that. And then what you would do is you would set your limit. So let's say that I want to take my profit at 175.60. I'm just going to put these lines here so that it's a little bit clearer. Actually, let's make that one green for profit. And then do another line at, let's say, 175 and make it red for a loss. So now, let's say I'm buying it at the blue line and I wanna sell it at the green line for a profit if it gets to that price and then if it goes down below and hits the red line, I sell for a loss. So I would just enter 175, the price at the stop loss, and then 175.60, the price at the profit point and then I would just click buy. That easy. <laughs> so that order will buy your shares, buy your 100 shares, and then it'll automatically send in those two orders so that if it comes down below, it'll get out for a loss, and if it comes above, it'll get out for a profit. And if one of them executes, the other one gets canceled, so you only end up get paying commissions on two transactions, when you buy and when you sell. Now, if I were to want to take multiple profits, then I would want to set multiple bracket orders. So let's say, for example, I would want to, let's just make, I guess I can't make a duplicate. Let's make another price line here. Let's say it's 176. Let's also make that one green. Okay, so now let's say I want to buy it at 175.20, the blue line. And then if it reaches 175.60, I want to sell half my shares. And if it reaches 176, I want to sell the other half of my shares and both of them would have the stop loss at the same price then what i would do is i would create a another order window and i would do half of the shares so if i still want to buy 100 shares i would do 50 for the first bracket order 50 for the second <clears throat> both of them would have the same stop loss and then the limit price on the first one would be the first green line. The limit price on the second one would be the second green line. So now when I click buy on the first order and then I click buy on the second order, it will buy all my 100 shares in two chunks. So I'd be paying commissions twice. And then if it comes down to 175, it will sell both groups of shares 
for another two transactions. And if it hits 175.60, it will sell for, it'll sell half my shares for a profit. And if it hits 176, it'll sell the other half for a profit. That is essentially it. You could do as many bracket orders as you want. Mind you, you would be paying much more in commissions if you were to buy these, if, if you were to buy in multiple chunks like that. You're buying, let's say you do four profit points, you're buying four times and then selling four times, so you're paying eight times commissions, which really adds up if you have a small account. So another way that you can do it is you can enter your trade, let's say you're still wanting to do 100 shares, you would uncheck the bracket order and you would just click buy. You could do a market order or a limit order, which is just making sure that you're buying it at a specific price or market, which is buying it at whichever price it is currently um, or it gets executed at. You could buy it either way, but you would just send in this first order and then what would happen is under your account window, I'm going to block off most of this for you so that you can't really see what's going on. But let's say I have a position. If I were to right click on a position, I am given the option to attach a bracket. You click attach bracket and then what you can do is let's say that this is 100 shares, just as though I bought my 100 shares of Tesla. And then what you can do is enter the stop price as 175, enter the profit as 175.60. But what I can do is I can make it so that this is a bracket for only half of the shares. So I can do 50 and then click sell. And then I can attach another bracket, 50, sell. So then at that point, I am only paying commissions three times. I'm paying once for the buy of all my shares, and then I'm paying a commission once for each of the sells. So I'm selling in two chunks. I would sell, I would pay commissions twice in that scenario. And that is, that's, that's it. That's how you do bracket orders on Quest Trade Edge platform. Now you can also do this on their regular website or app. Um, it would be similar situation. You just check the bracket order, enter the profits in the profits and stop losses in the boxes and then send. That's it. That's that's it. If there's anything else that is useful, then leave a comment or contact me and send me some information send, send me something that you want to see and I can make sure that I make a video on it